feel. We're back on the bumper breakfast and it's religion and the African society part two. And I did say we have some proof. Uh, my director can t take up uh, those videos at any time and show you exactly what we're talking about. So this morning, Dr. Precious and I were talking and we saw a video where somebody was even feeding one of his congregation with snake and death of. And death of. I mean, it was disinfectant. Let's not advertise for debt or disinfectant. <laughs> um, disinfectant it was pouring it into the mouth. What exactly was that supposed to do? He, said he, was, he said he was trying to show them that they have overcome the power of death. You know, so he was killing them. The gullibility of our people mm. uh, cannot be overemphasized. You know, that's why we need to talk about this. And I'm not just going to be talking about this, I'm going to be telling us the way forward. Because there's always a solution to everything. Mm -hmm. The solution to Africa and our religious mentality. You see, like we said last week, a lot of religious personnel do not care about shepherding, do not care about Mentoring. grounding, mm -hmm. discipling, and releasing the flock. All they care about is how to control, manipulate, and play their selfish games. And over time, we have discovered it. How do you explain... A man of God saying a woman should remove her panties so that the Holy Spirit can enter and impregnate her. We have the video, the footage there. And all these things are traceable to the fact, even the Bible says my people are distressed for lack of knowledge. There's a hmm. level of enlightenment you have that you just know that this is appalling. This and it's absurd. Not, this is not biblical. This is not logical. This is not godly. Well, people do it. People allow it. People succumb to it. Because they don't know. And you see, Tommy, see, um, I I'm going to be stating the following points for you to understand how deep religiosity has taken us. Number one, religion justifies political control. So you see, the flocks think that by giving their tithes and by listening to their pastor and putting their pastor ahead of their husband, hmm. um, you are closer to God. Hmm. Meanwhile, you are on the wrong foot hmm. of the gospel. Hmm. Number two, religion breeds slavery these days. Hmm. You see the man of God coming out and everyone is on their knees. Hmm. You know when, when, when they came, when the whites came to colonize us, there were three C's. Civilized, Christianized, commercialized. They came to colonize, but they had that agenda. They wanted to civilize us, show us mirror. We like it. You want the mirror? Give us your cash crops. Give us your, your brothers. Mm. Give us slaves. We'll give you these things. They wanted to make them get civilized. That was what they promised us. Mm. And then in the midst of that, they Christianized us. They brought the Bible. They brought their religion. And in the midst of that, they commercialized it. I said, okay, bring all you have for Thanksgiving. If God has done something for you, bring it to us. And we continued in that trend. I'm not saying it's bad, but when you go to the extreme, that's when it's bad. I can't imagine a pastor carrying his member and slamming them on a chair, smack down, and you say you're doing deliverance. Mm. It's preposterous. We have all those videos there. And uh, number three, white supremacy. Another thing religiosity has done to us. We, we, we have this mentality that Jesus is white, devil is black. White is good. Mm. Black is bad. Mm. And it will please you. I, I told somebody recently, I said, Do you think Angel Gabriel is a man? Mm. And the person said, Yes. I said, Google. And we found out Angel Gabriel is female, not even male. Now, I have a lot to say on that, but that's a story for another day. Why am I saying this? There's a whole lot of misconception. When you read through the Greek version of the Bible, you see a lot of things that naturally you will not see. And when the Bible says my people are going into captivity for lack of knowledge, it's so true. The people are taken advantage of, they are impoverished, they are hypnotized, they are mm. destroyed because they don't know. They don't know, they and, lack the basic knowledge. And Toby said, we are getting to a level whereby ignorance is not an excuse anymore. If you don't know, then it's to your detriment. Hmm. And I, I often tell people... After all, see, ignorance, even if you claim not to know, you're still punished for it by the law. True. Very true. If you break, if you jump traffic lights because you don't know what red means, 
you will be punished for it. So my, my take now is, what is the solution to Africans and religiosity? Number one, unchain yourself from this mental slavery. How do you unchain yourself? Knowledge. Go after knowledge. Get liberation. If you are told mm -hmm. to do something, check what does the Bible say about this? Is this what logical? does the Quran say about what it? does the Quran say about this? Consult yes. people if you if you have you know, I think another reason is because people really have this phobia for reading. True. That's why so, the words if you want to hide anything from a black man, put it in a book. That's it, where it came from. Yeah, that's where it came from. Number two, stop following the unfounded rules and regulations. You know those unfounded rules? You must do this after seven days, you must do that. Rules that you cannot phantom where they are from. Rules that you don't understand how they came about. I call them religious rituals. You need to liberate yourself. You need to emancipate yourself from them. Because sometimes you are destroyed by these things without even knowing. Hmm. Number three, get to know the creator in person. And you know, I, I, one, one quick one I quickly want to mention there while we're talking about... Um, while we're talking about uh, this uh, religious ritual mm -hmm. one one um i really want to know is people don't pray unless they are in the personal closet you know some people don't do that mm -hmm. some people don't pray unless their heads are covered mm -hmm. so i like to ask this question if you find yourself in the captivity of kidnappers would you tell them to give you space to go to the secluded place to pray mm -hmm. Or you tell them to give you clothes or to cover your hair. Or, or, or they, and they've sealed your mouth. They've covered your mouth. So it means you can't pray. So it means you can't pray. And do you know what prayer is? Prayer is the communication of your heart to, to God. God. It, it, it doesn't have to be in the confines of rules and regulations. You can just talk to him from wherever you are. And like I said, number three, get to know the creator for yourself. Hmm. See, when you get to know God, you will understand that if this person is your heavenly father he won't put you through drinking that all disinfectant disinfectant mm. and then did you, you know what happened during the COVID 19 pandemic um uh, lockdown in the us when they were talking about um disinfectant and a lot of americans were drinking it true in fully yeah i remember you remember yeah they thought yeah. it was a when solution. when the, you know their f former president just joked with it like um if it's that's what they would use and all that. you know it was just like a joke you know i mean we started drinking it Donald, Donald is a very interesting man you know what he did with the hydroxychloroquine mm -hmm. and immediately started talking about hydroxychloroquine mm -hmm. people started buying people it. started buying it people started taking it without being sick even as far as nigeria people in nigeria started, yes, started stocking their houses with hydroxychloroquine with chloroquine mm. uh, number four be spiritually centered within and not religiosity, religiosity centered without. Explain that. Hmm. Break it down. Spirituality is more of yourself, not what people should see. You know, when you get to a point where you are thinking, my spirituality mm. is what people should approve of, is what people should see, is what people should identify, mm -hmm. then you have missed it. Mm. Your spiritual walk with God is personal. It's not, it's not something that should be on billboards. If you go through Matthew 6, you will understand everything about this. Hmm. So it's really important we get to a point where we are more spiritual than religious. Religious people do things for people to see. Spiritual people do them with their hearts. Hmm. So you see a spiritual person, he wants to pray in his closet. You see a religious person, mm. he wants to speak in tongues for people to hear he can speak he in can tongues. He can speak in tongues. He wants to display speaking in tongues. He wants to display his religiosity mm. uh, mechanism. Mm. He wants to show that his tongues are important. You get? He wants to show the tones. And you know those prayer warriors in churches? No wonder that they are the poorest people. Mm. That's a story for another day. Mm. Mm. And finally, mm. number five. You are throwing shade to Dr. Precious. They will come I, for you. I'm not throwing shade. I'm just saying the truth. Mm. And uh, it's, it's okay. Look at that. Look at what we have on the screen. Mm. Spray. Yeah. Mm. Just look at that. And then he starts spraying them with he disinfectant. Said, he said that is to show that they've overcome death. Some kidding? of them will stand on their members, all in the name of deliverance. Are you kidding? Some, uh, like one South African pastor told the members to go out and eat grass. The question I ask you is, 
did you ever see Jesus or the prophets do those things? Who, who has done this to us? Uh, look at this one. This is snake. He's giving them snake to eat. Are you sure that's not a feather or something? That's a snake. I watched the video. This is, he, he's saying he's turning um, Heineken's to water for it to be pure for them to drink. And oh. then there's another one who was publicly fornicating, kissing two women in front of his church. You know, there are things we see these days that we just go back and think. But who take on those? So we say, I, ask, I, I say some things. If, if God does not visit this generation, we will have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. Because the kind of things we see these days, you see so-called prophets sleeping with people's wives all in the name of deliverance. Oh, if I do this for you, you'll be delivered. And we really need well, God it, this then, time. Then the, are we, look at this one. Are you kidding me right yeah, now? Yeah, he's sitting on them. I, I told you, that's Bora, South Africa. He's sitting on his members? Yes, for deliverance. And when they wake up, they won't know what has happened. They are clueless of what has happened. That's the that's the height of impotization. The height of magic. And he calls this religion? Deliverance. He's a pastor. That's why we need to draw the line. You see, the Holy Book says by their fruits, you shall know them. So you get to a level where you see these things and then you understand that a lot is going wrong. And that's why I want to say this story saying conclusively. Give a man fish and you'll feed him for a day. Teach him how to fish and you'll feed him for a lifetime. But empower a man to own a lake and you'll feed him for generations to come. We need to start empowering ourselves with the truth. We need to start empowering ourselves with knowledge. When you get out there, you'll see that it's not this hard. You know, in Africa, when we want to pray, hey, God, we pray with power. We pray with voraciousness. You know, it, it, it took me going to a place where you don't even speak out your prayer mm -hmm. to understand that it doesn't have to be like that. Even As we were fish. entering, the man asked the question, you're Nigerians, we don't make noise here. I swear. That's in people Israel, were right? already yeah and people were already making it's and like, that's mm. the home of christianity we don't make noise here he said speak in your heart you see this and the exposure. priest left you know the interest about the priest left us we were the ones that went to do for him and said come and bless us the man did not and this is supposed to be a pastor kissing his members yes fornication with his full chest is deliverance deliverance you saw the picture of the other one checking the breast of his members that the demon is in the breast, so he's trying ah. to cast it out. Ah. And there's another famous one in Kenya who said um, he sucks demons out of his members' breasts. Ah. He was interviewed on um, a radio station, he was called in, and he said that, that he sucks out demons from, from the breast of his members. We give up. Know God for yourself. Yeah. Whatever religion you belong to, don't be foolish. Get information. Get leaders. The Bible says, I'll give you pastors after your own heart. That will feed you. Something will just tell you that this is wrong. The, I mean, if There's you don't, if you don't have the, if you don't have the knowledge of the Bible, you should have common sense. God yeah. actually gave us the intuitiveness to know those things are wrong or correct. A head, like I will always say, a head without sense is a load to the neck. Mm. Some people have heads, but they are not using it, and that's why they can't go ahead. Mm. It's a big problem. It's a, it's a big, big problem. problem. You know, when I go through Thank some you for of that those wisdom. videos, I I feel I feel appalled. appalled. Yeah, it's it's appalling. We need to find a way to deliver ourselves from this menace of religiosity. Unless if we're going to serve God, whatever religion as Islam, Christianity, traditional, serve God from your heart know god for yourself let's mm -hmm. not be i mean if we're going to be lazy don't be lazy with your spirituality mm -hmm. don't be so lazy that uh, 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 i don't know we need to go on the bumper breakfast dr precious how do you close i close by saying it's really important we get uh, mental emancipation get to know more things about what's happening there so we can be aware that the tides and time has changed Please follow me on social media, Dr. Precious Wars. 
Thank you. And my name is Tommy Siojo. You can see me on Instagram at the Golden Tommy Siojo or Oluwa Tommy Siojo on the Facebook. Of course, you get to watch us again live Monday morning on the Bumper Breakfast. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Keep safe. COVID-19 is out there and it's killing people. Mm.